Hi, my name is Dr. Bill Polanski, and if you have diabetes, type 1 or type 2, it may be you've had the experience of someone in your life who's providing you with more help and support than you want. And that's the problem, what we call the diabetes police. Those are people who have decided that God has put them in charge of telling you what to do with yourself all the time. And oftentimes that comes from a place of warmth and love. They mean well, usually, but if you, you know what it's like, if you feel like you're being nagged and bugged, there's a tendency to want to respond by doing the opposite. So you don't think I should be eating that? Watch this, I'll eat twice as much. So if you've got someone in your life who's driving you crazy, acting like a diabetes policeman, here's one tip I want to suggest to you. Know that that person who's being a policeman is probably not on their own gonna stop. So you really are gonna have to sit down and have a conversation with them. And it probably isn't enough just to say, look, you're driving me crazy, please stop. Because they wanna help, you need to give them something to do. So you need to kind of redirect them. So find a dispassionate moment where things aren't too heated and say, look, I know you'd like to be of help. The way you're trying to be of help now, like, telling the waiter not to bring any garlic bread or announcing to people that I have diabetes, that's not cool. But what you could do is, could you make sure there's always diet soda in the refrigerator? Or could you uh, maybe go for a walk with me sometime since it's more fun when I do it with someone else. Think of something that they can do, but then also of course remind them about what they are doing that's driving you crazy and see if that might help. But these kinds of candid conversations can really make a big difference. So hope that's helpful and stay tuned for more tips.